para para pa para pa 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 Yo, what's going on guys? This is your conductor speaking A Train Game and we are back with some more Star Fox Adventures. And do I even have to explain what happened in the last episode? Like, it's, it's fucking hot in here, right? It's hot in here. I'm trying to record this. So, you know what happened, alright? Obviously, we just got here. So, you if you've played this game, whatever happens before Fox gets here is what we did. Alright. So, the guy told us to talk to some of these guys. Hello, stranger. I'm a Thorntail. Sales has unleashed his army. Uh, I'm taking the earth and locked the doors. Are many trees, some of which contain Dumbledang pods, a lovely tasty fruit. Okay, okay, buddy. We already know what those do, and we don't need those. We don't. What? Oh, like this tree right here? Like, can we do some Legend of Zelda shit? Roll into the tree and it'll just come out? No. Seems we need some sort of weapon, so why don't we come over here to the super obvious staff that's just sticking in the ground? The Master Sword. Da -na 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 -da 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 uh, fee? Is that Fee? Or Fi? Or whatever everyone wants to call her? Nah. This is obviously Crystal's staff that fell out of her hand and conveniently landed in the middle of Dinosaur Planet. It was destiny. And Fox just mastered it, like he, he knows what he's, what he's doing. He's like twirling it around like a fucking professional and shit. Yeah, that was a workout. He's like, yeah, I can feel my blood pumping. Fucking Fox, dude. Alright, so yeah, we got fucking Crystal Staff. Look at this shit. Yeah. The fighting in this game is not that cool, alright? I'll tell you that right now. Like, it's very repetitive. Uh, it's not very controllable, like, pretty much when you're fighting. Well, well, you'll see, because I got a fight right here, so let's let's go test it out. Yeah, look at these f fucking losers right here. These, sh these guys are Sharp Claw. Oh, no, oh, never mind, I'll let Crystal explain it. <laughs> fucking bitch. So, it'll, they'll automatically lock you on to an enemy, and this is it. My personal favorite attack is this one. You just hold down on the joystick, and then... He'll do like a twirl move like this. This is my favorite right here. Yeah. And I don't think it really matters. You can press RT to block like that. And sometimes you'll actually need to wait for the enemies to attack you first. Or like you'll have to wait for them to like... Because they'll block you too. And some enemies like are really good at blocking. So you have to wait for them to like attack you. And then right as they're attacking you have to attack them. Yeah, it's, it's a little confusing, but it's it's easy when you get the, the picture. <sighs> yeah, absorb that power, Fox. Absorb it. Discover what lies beneath the door. Oh, that was a thick door. I like how Fox's animal instincts kick in, and sometimes you'll see his ear, like, twitch. Because that's what Fox's ears do. That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright, let's come over here and pick up a new item before we, we do it later on the game and it's inconvenient. This thing right here, this is Well, let's 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 see what the description says. Da -na -na -na. You picked up a staff energy gem. They come in different values and are used to power the staff upgrades. Alright. So yeah. So the staff power BS. Just look on the top left corner of the screen, alright? You, you see that something new has appeared there. Clearly, that's the equivalent to magic from The Legend of Zelda, so... I wonder if it'll be... Is this a new one, too? Oh, no. Yeah, the golden ones give you the most... And look, Fox can swim. Yay. Not like Spyro, who can't swim at all. Alright, so we know where to go. We just gotta go over here to this... freaking door that just opens. Under Crystal's command, even though she's stuck in a crystal. S oh, what the? All right, check this out. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. 
do the mountain. Secret, secret, secret. We made that jump. All right, this is awesome. I love this. Dance. I have the power. Dance. Yeah. Fox's eyes just go like inside his head. He's like the Undertaker. The Fire Blaster. All right. So we got a new fucking move. So pretty much the C stick is your entire inventory. So you can come over here. The yellow section is like moves for your staff. The blue section, we, 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 we haven't learned about this yet. We'll just hold off. And then the red section is like main items, key items, or just items in general. I don't know. And uh, you can come over here to your items. Uh, you can never see. So oh, okay. I finally did it. Usually, like, you can make the jump over here. But you can never make the jump back. Like, you always fall in. But that, that's... I made it. That's pretty funny. Alright, so you can come over here to your, your staff items. You can press A on it, and you'll use it automatically. Or you can press Y and set it to Y, so you won't have to come into your items every time, which is way more convenient. But it's a pain in the ass when you learn more moves, and they all become useful. So just, just pick one, man. I, always, I pretty much always have the Fire Blaster here. Alright, let's stop fucking talking. Alright, another thing I fucking hate about this game is check... Look at this aiming system, like, alright, I'm clearly looking around, but watch, as soon as I let go of the stick, this is what happens. Yeah, it auto-centers itself, and that's a pain in the ass when you're trying to aim at something, because you're like, look at me, I'm trying to aim at this, but every time I, like, let loose on the joystick, it'll try and center itself again, so, like, what the fuck, man? It's very difficult, especially later on when you actually have to, to really aim at things, like, come on. I don't know why they did that, they should have just allowed you to fucking... Pfft, aim at free will, you know, or at least take that option off. It's pretty much, it's, it's kind of like fucking a 3DS where like you can use the motion of the 3DS to aim. Oh, these things fucking piss me off. There's, there's no, there's no beating these guys, man. They, they, it's like they always get a hit on you. Like it's, it's God, and then they never give you health. Like, come on. That's some BS. All right. So now that we have the fire blaster, we need to come back over here. Are we going to be jumped by some more sharp claw? And this huge fucking obvious button right here, we can fire blast. And the door opens. Wow. Sweet. What's in here, I wonder? Is anybody there? What the Are you okay? Dinosaur? My name is Fox McCloud, and you must be the Queen Earthwalker. No, Voice no, acting is no, awesome no, in this game. Look at, Fo look at Fox. It's pretty cool how it doesn't tell you like what they're saying because Fox literally can't understand. You've got to go to the ice mountain and rescue her son, the Prince Tricky. Uh, look at him, he's like, uh, a nice name. Okay, lady, I'll bring your son back to you. Now, can you give me some directions? Dino, okay. Ah, uh. uh. <laughs> Look at Fox. That's all I need to know. I'll be back soon, Queen. Don't you worry. <laughs> Haven't you finished that translator yet? It's nearly ready. Fox. Well, clearly he finished it because I was talking to that dinosaur earlier and I understood what he was saying. So, unless he was just translating, I don't know. It's confusing. But this game has a lot of mild humor in it. So, like, as you can see, like, Slippy just came in and, like, Fox was like, like, got startled. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. And then his eyes, he, like, had those funny eyes. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do this right now just because I can. These things shoot out, like, bombs. Oh, actually, we need to do this anyway, so might as well. These things are, like, little bomb plants. You can plant them in, like, those little soil patches. Pretty much like the magic beans. Well, not like the magic beans, but you plant them like magic beans. This is a bomb spore. It's a bomb. <laughs> Fucking Spongebob. And those fucking the other ones always disappear, goddamn. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> we already blew one up. Alright, we know what it is. So I just pretty much like to stock up on them because you can run out easily and bomb plants are like not common. <laughs> I mean they're common like here, they'll always respawn right there, but 
later on, like you you might need one, and there will, there'll be no bomb plant around. I think you can hold up to ten. I don't remember, but I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest all these fucking bomb spores. All right, so it looks like you can only hold seven, which is a real odd number. What? You could have just rounded it up to, or even made it six. Like you just had to make it seven for some reason. All right, now we're introduced to the currency in the game. These young fellers are called scarabs. Sweet, fucking awesome. It's exactly what I needed. <laughs> fucking scarabs. Another game where money is a factor. All right. So the green ones are worth one, and these red ones, which I love, are worth ten. No, they're worth five. They're worth five, I think. I think. But you can only hold ten at a time. So, all right, check this out. Come over here. Oh, you can also. All right, yeah, these are like you can plant things here. I think you can also set these to Y. Yeah, you can set those to Y too, but no, no one does that. It's such a waste of a Y space. We just plant this here, and whenever you see like a wall like that, just with a fucking plant space in front of it, you're always gonna want to set a bomb spore there. So, and then the to make it even worse, like the controls are inverted, so it's like down is up, up is down. Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ow, ow. Yeah! You can just, look at this. This is animals, man. We're animals in this game. Alright, so. We can go in there, but it's it's gonna be useless, alright? The game doesn't really, ex oh, it does explain it to you. If you can waste your time going there and talk to the, the fucking guy, but all he says to you is, nobody buys me gifts anymore. And then you're like, oh, okay, what the fuck does that mean? Well, I'm just gonna show you, alright? Fuck, fuck all this running around, fuck all this acting like I don't know what's gonna happen. I know what to do. I know what's gonna happen. So let's come into here. The fucking Thorntail store. Check this out. Check this out. I love this guy. Welcome to my store. <laughs> Feel free to look at the many wonderful items within these walls. I have food, special goods, and many maps. Sweet. And if you like to play games, then enter the Scarab Room. Yes. Dan 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 dan. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Now, if you find something that you like, <laughs> then choose that item and oh, we'll come discuss on, a buddy. prize. Is that clear? Well. Good. Now, hurry and choose something. Oh, get out. <laughs> So this guy's your average Tom Nook, fucking... Doesn't matter, like, what else you want. If you're talking money, then he's talking to you, alright? So, pretty much, uh, you need to come in here because... Oh, okay, alright, I don't remember... Oh, here we go. This is the one we need to go in. And there's a lot of things you can buy here, like, check this out, fucking... High def display, 20, but a lot of these things are more than 10 scarabs, and we can only hold 10. So we can't even get that, like it's 15. This one's 130, holy crap. Oh, that one's 5, we could buy that one. And this one's 20, so we can only hold 10. And it's it's obvious that we're gonna get, or we're gonna be able to hold more later on in the game. But anyways, we gotta buy this rock candy for the fucking rock guy. Oh, you can also barter with the guy, look at this, we can go down on price. Let's see if I can go down to... Oh! Look at that. It's a good thing I raised my bartering skills. Sweet. We got the rock candy. It's a very tasty, sweet rock. That would make a great gift. Oh. Oh, and conveniently, the guy earlier said nobody gets some gifts anymore. So, sweet. Yeah, we could come in here and buy, like, all these maps. Look at these. This one's five. Five. Ten. You know what, I might actually do that. I might go harvest fucking scarabs or grind for scarabs and then just come in here and buy all the maps because maps are nice to have, you know? There's even a map room, like over here. Oh, it's just what I needed, some health. I don't want health, I want scarabs. Right, is this the map room or is this the game room? Oh, no, this is the map room. Yeah, look at all these maps. These maps are like... It's gonna take me a while, but I could get all these maps. I could just play the game, too. The game's not hard. 
is there any map that's like oh yeah sometimes the guy will talk to himself so you can hear what he's got to say so, uh, you know what I might do that I might cut it and then come back later so all right we'll see how about playing a little game all right well I might as well show off this game since it's a thing you can do how many scarves you wish to gamble I will then okay. throw them into this cave and you have to collect them within my time limit okay so <laughs> I don't think there's any point to me playing this because I can't get any higher than 10 scarabs. But you can play this game to like double your your scarabs. And I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show it off, you know, so I've shown it off. Are you ready? It's not that hard either, like all he does is throw scarabs out there and all you gotta do is collect them. So and it gives you like 30 seconds. This ain't hard. The only time it gets a little difficult is when like you're down to the last one, you might not be able to find. <laughs> What? Okay, so that's not how you play, but <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll probably never be doing that because I suck at it. Put that down. <laughs> you don't have enough scarabs. All right, all right, buddy. All right, anyways, I decided I'm not gonna. S it's it's too hard to to grind for scares because they don't reappear like you literally have to like turn off your game and turn it back on because they don't appear like in the rocks anymore until you leave the area so I'm not gonna do that so I got 10 scarabs and I was able to buy um, the Thorntail Hollow map and then I bought the Snowhorn Village map or the Snowhorn Wastes which is pretty much we're in Thornton Hollow, so we might as well have that one. And then Snowhorn Waste is the next area we're going to, so I decided to just get those two, and we'll 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 most definitely have more scares by the time we get back. So might as well just progress with the game, I guess. So let's no, that's not the exit. It's not the exit. The exit's over here. Let's get out of here. I actually was able to bar bargain down with the guy to like yeah, I had ten, and both those maps were five. So as you can see, I have three. Scarabs left. I was able to barter him down a little bit. I think I got the Thorntail Hollow one for like What was it four? I got the Thorntail Hollow one for four scarabs, and then I got the Snowhorn Waste one for three So yeah, I'm a boss. I am a freaking boss All right, let's, let's go over here to this guy Let me let me get some of this this crystal. I love that crystal. Yeah All right Oh man! All right, let's talk to our buddy right here. I like to call this guy Shrek. You'll see why in a second. Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. <laughs> My guy Shrek. Yeah, so that's what he says if you just come over here and talk to him in the first place. But since we got the rock candy, we can just give him this. A lovely sweetie. Starts playing that Scottish music. Look at this. The bagpipe. <laughs> the mighty walk stone. A thousand years I've been uh, alone to rest. <laughs> come on, Fox, get up, get off you here. Want? Don't take a knee. Uh, well, can you help us? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. Help you? No. But you're a warp stone. You're supposed to help. Uh, he's like, ah, shit, he caught me. Uh, right. Let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to do. Wow. For a guy okay. who's been doing it for like thousands now of years. How do you forget stick, what you're supposed to do, you man? He has a thousand years things. of experience. He can get a job we'll as a warp stone anywhere. In a minute. And if you push forward on the control stick, then you can enter the, the maze. maze. We're not the maze runners. We don't do that. Uh, now this one's a bit special. <laughs> When you have collected a Crusoe spirit, then push right on the control stick, and I'll send you to Crusoe. Wow! Palace. Thanks for s completely spoiling no, that we're obviously gonna be collecting Crusoe spirits so hurry at up some and point. Make your choice. If not, then press B so I can get back to sleep. Wow! This guy's worse than Mumbo, man. He doesn't even fucking. He doesn't even care. Are you ready? We have a to world walk? to save here, and you don't care, man. 
Alright, we're ready to warp. This is trippy, so get ready for this. Ah! Whoa! What the? Oh, shit! Oh my god, I shouldn't have took the acid before this. No. Just kidding. Drugs are bad, kids. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm warning you. I'm watching you. You better not do it. Alright, now we're just in a completely different area. Look at this. Whoa, what the? What's going on? Whoa, what the? Spaceship? Fucks? We know Star Fox. All about ships. Battleships. Whoa, is that? <gasps> no. It's the prince. Prince Tricky. The queen's, the queen's daughter? No, son. Yeah, son. Whoa, what the? Whoa, those things are sharp, man. Whoa, they're hitting him. Oh, oh, I can't watch. I slowly look away. Oh man, who knows what they're doing to him in there. It's up to Fox to save his new home. Alright. Oh, oh, look at this. We got another rock with scarabs. Yeah. I love my scarab. No, let me get that one. No, he's going to disappear. Oh, I got him. We're up to eight scarabs now. All right. So, yeah, this is... Well, I don't have the map data for this. Because this isn't technically an area that you can really come back to. Like, this is just like an area made for this point in the game, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Actually, you might be able to come back. I think... Can you come back here on the warp zone? I'm not sure. But you might be able to come back here, but... Oh, we remember what these things are, remember? Yeah. I don't really think there's... Oh, actually, yeah, there's some things in here that we might need. But look at these. This this game must have come around, around Christmas. Look at these. these. They decorated these trees. Got little lights on them. Alright, check this out. What's this? Alright, so you throw 20 scarabs in that shit, and it gives you a cheat token. I'm not sure... If I'm going to even be doing that, because we're not cheaters. I don't even know what that does, to be honest. I've never done the cheat token thing. Alright, what's this? Fuel cell used to power the R-Wing. Rob had a few problems getting them down to the surface of Dinosaur Planet. This means they have been scattered around everywhere. You will need them to, to enable you to fly. So, we gotta find these fuel cells so that we can actually fly the R-Wing to different areas. Yeah, that's sweet. But don't worry, honestly, like, those things aren't a problem at all. Like, I never have been short fuel cells. Like, there's just way too many of them to find. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the? This guy's shooting a cannon at me? Alright, yeah, there we go. Look at that, this guy fell. Oh, another thing is, like, only one enemy can attack you at a time, so it's like, don't ever, don't ever think that you're gonna be bump- Oh, shit, okay. Look at me talking, I'm losing, I'm losing focus here, man. This can't be happening. But she'll never be bombarded with, like... There'll be moments where, like, six enemies attack you, but, like... You'll only, you're only you only able to fight one at a time, so... I can just imagine if there was a Star Fox Adventures 2, how awesome it would be, but they'll never make that, because Rare isn't with Nintendo anymore. I just know that the next Star Fox game is, is going to be more like Star Fox 64 or Star Fox Assault, probably. Star Fox Assault was okay. I mean, it, it was... they added like some more on-ground... It wasn't really an adventure game like this, but it was pretty much just, you know, you and the R-Wing and then... You know, they would go on land sometimes and fight with their blasters and shit. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? They're still in here tormenting. Pick on someone your own size. I am Fox McCloud, lead pilot of the Star Fox team. I've come to take the prince back to home. Yeah. Don't know we care who you are, Fox. Oh, this part's epic right here. Ah, Fox, no. No, they're getting away. We gotta get him. Yeah, Fox knows how to drive every vehicle. I think there's a, a fuel cell in there too, like you can... Yeah, you must be able to come back here, dude. Alright, this part is easy to fail. I've failed this multiple times, but... Pretty much, it's like it's pretty much like a race. 
Like, you can actually kill these guys, but... Oh, yeah, look at that. I might have already messed up. Like, you can kill these guys, but it'll just slow you down. You pretty All you want to do is just make sure you're in front of them. Oh, yeah, because if you hit them, you slow down like that, see? I don't know how many times you have to hit them, though. Before they die. Because, see, he's on fire and shit. And they lay down mines, so it's like, shit. Take a little shortcut. Look at that. Yeah, don't get in my way, buddy. You'll die. But if, if even one of them comes in front of you by the end, you lose. So I might lose this, to be honest. So I'm just not doing well at all. And these are typically short. Ah, see, look at that. Fucking screwed me. Oh, wait, is this a shortcut? It might be, no. Yeah, I fucked myself, man. Wait, I might still be able to, to do it. Oh, shit. Come on, I can do this. This is it. This is the end. Yeah, I did it. Look at this. This is... <laughs> it's like there's two different recordings of him going... Ah, ah, ah. Like, what? Two different recordings. Look at him. He's like, darn you. <laughs> I can't understand you. Oh, Fox. I can tell that Fox is easily irritated. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Tricky. I don't think he'll be doing any bashing. He's been captured. That's why I've been sent to rescue you. He's been captured? Oh. That's right. It was your mother that sent me to find you. Is she okay? She'll be just fine. But we need to get you home. You know, every now and then we can have a good laugh, Where but there's there's always those serious moments, you know? You just gotta enjoy. Alright, anyways, back to the fucking game, like, god, what, where did that serious moment come from? Alright, let's see if we can get a little more gameplay in here, let's see. Oh, let's come over here, and oh, we're introduced to something new, look at these. Blue grub tub fungus are an earthwalker's favorite food. Problem is, they're too hard for me to catch. Try stunning them with your staff? Look at this crap, we have to... Not only do we have to have this annoying... Oh, uh, okay, let's add another thing to the list. We gotta fucking watch this. Fungus. They're Earthwalker's favorite food. Look at this! I see it, Tricky. You don't have to fucking tell me. Alright, come on. Get back here. And it's like Fox just can just barely keep up with the fungus as they run away. Alright, so... Now that we have food... You just go to the items, and you can feed it to Tricky like this. Yeah, alright. That's better. I feel strong enough to do some work now. For a crack on the ground. Okay, alright, Tricky. Jesus. I hate how they give you, like, very long descriptions of what to do. Like, just... All you need to do is give me a one-liner, like, press C to do this. Alright, thanks. <laughs> I will take that into consideration. Alright, so yeah, Tricky's like your pet, man. He can just... He just digs for you and finds stuff. Oh, look at that. Another switch where we have to have something sit on it so that we can actually go over to it. I wonder what we gotta do. Yeah, Tricky has a stay command as well. So you can tell him to stay on the switch. Yeah, we'll never need a bomb again. And look at that. Just warps the platform up and we're good to go. That's right. Alright, so I think this is a good point to just, you know, sit down by the campfire. I did the exact same thing in my other Let's Play. It's, we'll just, uh, you know, set up camp here, and then in the morning, we will set off on this wonderful adventure. Oh, oh, don't twitch your ear, Fox. Don't worry, we'll be back. Alright, so if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like, favorite it, subscribe, do everything that you, you could think of with this video, alright? And I will see you in the next one. Sayonara. Shut up.